Whoa. That didn't even damage me, but that's interesting. Hey guys, it's phase one once again with another video. Today we're, we're going to do another mining run. Um, so this is the third episode for the mining to refining uh, mini series. And today we're going to do another mining run. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to showcase a little bit of the, um, the mining consumables. On how to use them and uh, when are the best scenarios to use them so I'm gonna try my best to see if I can showcase that today so I'm gonna go ahead and install the first one that I'm always gonna use is a brand so this helps with instability and what the next thing I recommend is a furrow which kind of helps reduce uh, rocks with resistance so when you find a really valuable ore, it's usually inside of a, a hard to uh, break um, rock so you're gonna need something that will help reduce the uh, the resistance there so and then the next thing I want to do is let me try the surge so surge will will instantly put um, deposit a certain amount of um, power or output into the rock so if it's a hard to if it's a hard to break rock uh, it will help um, speed up the process in a sense so we're gonna go ahead and um, spawn the ship hopefully the consumables are still installed even though I just updated them yeah so I went ahead and picked up this new um, torso armored torso I forget the name of it but it's pretty cool I like it as well as the helmet it's a pretty cool helmet I think hey. I don't know where is it pad one So yeah, today, um, so just to give you guys a quick update, I do have um, two uh, refining um, sets of ores already being processed right now. And by the time we go on this run and come back, they should be complete. So what we'll do is we'll come and deposit whatever we, we make, or whatever we find right now, and then we'll pick up whatever is finished at the, re at the refinery and then we'll take it out to go and sell it all right so that's that's the uh agenda for this episode here let's quickly hopefully we'll get it all done in the episode if not then we'll do it we'll complete the whole process um by the next episode so my prospector one of the rocks damaged it and the prospector is still the saddlebags are still gone even though i still have the cargo capacity um, within the saddlebags, but it's just that uh, they fell off. <laughs> it's funny. Um, but then again, when I try to repair my ship, it doesn't give me the option here. Maybe I need to go to another station, but it seems like that's the the current scenario right now. Let's turn on the ship. I'm gonna try and see if I can do it. No. Okay, I have repair here. It works. Okay, I think it did repair it now. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. All right, let's go. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna head over to Magda. Head over to Magda, and I noticed um that uh, Magda has a lot of Terranite and Vexalite so those are very valuable ores um, after Quantanium so I like to go there and uh, mine there and then I'll come back here to um, Hurston L1 and then I will um, find there and then I'll head over to Lorville to 
to sell off so it's a nice little quick routine to just be in the close uh, proximity uh, to everything to where you're gonna refine where you're gonna mine as well to where you're going to sell that way it's a it's an easier process for yourself so that's something that I, I recommend you guys do Alright, so we're just about to arrive. I think that's the planet. That's the moon, I think. Right there. No, I don't think it is. I don't think that's the one. It's this one. What I hope CIG fixes is this. Oh, it's it's working now. Oh, okay. So, before this thing breaks, I'm going to go ahead and overclock my laser. I'm, I'm just gonna overclock it. For the helix. I'm gonna overclock it and then I will um, I'll just try to manage the power output that I use. But before, it, it usually doesn't work when I check it. But I'm glad that it's working now. I don't know if they patched it out. I don't know. But before, I wasn't able to do that. So we'll take advantage of that. So now, with me... See, now it's gone, right? See? See what I mean? I'm glad I did it before. So now, at least I know it's overclocked. So when you do overclock what it does is it gives you more power output especially for the um, harder rocks the rocks with, with a lot more resistance and usually usually those are the rocks that have the most what you call it the most valuable ores so I'm glad I was able to quickly check that All right so let's try to go down it may be dark i don't know why every time i come here i'm always on i'm always on the dark side of the, of the moon so we're just gonna go ahead and start scanning here turn on the lights as well all right we have we already have one right here. All right. Should be straight up ahead. There it is. So dark. Oh, I hate mining on the dark side of the moon. Hmm. There's one closer. So dark, man. Why? Gold? Nah, that's not what I'm looking for. It's okay to be picky because it's if you are, it's worth it when you get the right amount of ore. So I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit bit picky. I'm looking for either. Bexalite or Terranite. And if I can find Quantanium or Laranite, I'm happy with that as well. So, those are the key ores that we're looking for here. It's pretty 
pick aggressium aggressium is good too but this is not a good amount this is only two percent aggressium i'm not i'm not too happy with that there's there's so much more better rocks out here i found um some rocks having bexalite and terranite like 20 percent 25 percent sometimes so i know that there's better out there so let's check this this is good start from here this is nice i like this gold you don't care about that terra knight six percent not battle for, for 3400 as a mass uh, this is not bad but i think there's better terra knight one percent no that's not good um somebody else is around here mining 14 percent we'll go with that and that's six thousand uh, as a mass so that's really good this is a really good rock quartz somebody's around here i saw a ping you see that somebody's here so it's good to know what about you are you too far too far so this this is the rock that we want right this is the kind of rocks that we're looking for 14 percent we'll, we'll deal with that all right so a quick assessment of this rock is you can tell right there the instability is pretty high but if you noticed right if you i'm right now i'm using the helix right it looks like the helix in when you initiate it onto the when you start outputting onto the rock it changes the instability of the rock i think that's just the some of the stats that the um the what you call it the mining head give right look at that look, look at the instability and the resistance as soon as i turn it on all right so that's interesting to know i didn't know that but and you can you'll also notice that my charge my optimum charge window also expands so i think these are the things that the mining head does these are the attributes that the man in the mining head offers which is really good um so these are some of the things that you need to consider when you're purchasing um a mining head right so i'm just gonna go all the way to 100 percent because it seems like it's a tough rock and it's a good opportunity to also um use one of the consumables so i'm gonna go ahead and use a deferral right just to decrease the the resistance of the rock as well and i think because it's taken a long time to increase i'm gonna quickly test the surge to see how that works i never used it before Woo! whoa that didn't even damage me but that's interesting that's a lot of power oh my goodness whoa interesting so I think it shoots like a, a huge surge of of power into the rock. That's cool, man. I never used it before. Interesting. So we're going to decrease our laser intensity a little bit. That way we stay within the optimum um, window. And that's all. We're keeping an eye. Oh, oh, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. The instability is not too good. All right, I think that's good. All right, the explosion wasn't too bad. So let's quickly check each. All right, somebody's here. He's definitely gonna come here because there's a lot of rocks here. I hope he doesn't, but he might. So that one is 19% of Terranite, 28%. Okay, this is the one I want. 29% turn it. I don't want this guy to be here, man. Honestly, he's here and I can see him on my radar too. Hold on. Can I Let's see if he disappears. I don't want him here though <laughs> cuz I I found some pretty good ore. But it doesn't look like he's leaving. He's pinging too. 
I really want to just extract it, all this because this is really good. This is really good ore. So I'm not bothering with him. He's coming closer. gotta be careful he's still around here pinging what is he doing he's literally right next to me dude man get out of here dude this guy's literally on me he's gonna try to steal it isn't he no that's quartz we don't care about that We'll take that, Terranite. He's literally right here. I'm just taking everything because uh, I'm not getting what I want. I think he's stealing my ore, honestly. grab this last bit here because of this guy I, I grabbed so much quartz man it's not what I wanted at all 29% Terranite oh 90% Terranite Alright, so let's let's look for this guy. There he is. Prospector. Who is he though? He's going away. So his name is Knight 145. Okay. He made me nervous, man. Oh, I wasted so much space on quartz. So let's just break this one. Let's break this one. This guy's still around. Slow down a little bit. to see 58% Terran I will take that because of this guy I'm not I'm not as efficient as I'd like to be but we'll take what we get more there we go that's the one I want uh, I think that's everything right this we don't want this one what about you what about you what about you 15% Terranite um, oh this is big too okay Nineteen percent Terranite. Take this one. Let's work on this one first. So I think just this rock alone could have, have um, could have enough to even fill me up with Terranite. 
and I like the fact that they're putting so much um, they're, they're they're you're able to find clusters of rocks like this it's really good I mean it should be rare it shouldn't be all the time but it's nice that sometimes you find it I like the fact that they're they're doing it that way because I've, I've found um, a cluster like this and like I think three or four rocks had Laranite in it like I didn't have enough um, space in my ship to, to, to take the take it all Take it. It's fine. So inert material, inert material, material. So there's a big one here that has terrible. It's quartz. What about you? Quartz. There's one in the back here. Is it this one? Terrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost didn't pay attention to it. You gotta be very careful or else you'll destroy your ship. And one of the things I also recommend is as you're making money, invest into a, a better power supply as well as a cooler. And as well as um, shields as well. In case uh, a rock explodes on you, you, you need strong shields to sustain. They're like a hundred percent Terranite. It's got to be at least one that has a hundred percent. Twenty-eight percent. It's all broken up into these little pieces. Yeah, it's all broken up into these little pieces. All right, so we'll, we'll take whatever these are. Let's take it. Um, yeah, this is not the, the most efficient way. I'm not being as picky as I'd like, but we'll we'll take whatever we're getting with this and then we'll, we'll head back. At least we didn't have to fly along, fly around too long. Sometimes you'll find good good ore right away so you take it as you get it so and we're full all right so it's not the best run but I'm okay with that you know I'm okay with that um firstly I was nervous I thought this guy was gonna shoot me but he didn't so we're, we're, we're okay with that uh, so now the next step is to head over to the refinery station. So I'm using mine. I'm um, her um, H U um, H U is it H U L? Uh, her L one, I think. And um, I'm just I'm gonna refine over there, and we have some ore over there that we'll pick up and take to. Lorville. Okay, so yeah, crew. I mean, Hurston is a decent place to mine, honestly. 
these moon have so much so much good good ore so you guys you guys should try it out it's a good system her l1 or her l2 and then um you can you can go to any of the moons of hurston and uh you can get some good ores there and when you're ready after you find and you're ready to sell you just head straight to her um loreville so you're not traveling too far you're not traversing too far from any given location so i think it's a good system that i'm having here if you guys know any better systems that you guys have for yourselves let me know in the comments below as well but this right now i think i'm i'm, I'm happy with right now it's it allows you to quickly get in a quick mining run and then just put your ore in and then just uh while it's processing you can log off and just do your normal in real life activities and then when you're back then you can continue go um, there such a beautiful space club man it's gorgeous so we gotta slow down from now the prospect it takes a long time or it stops. Go upside down. I think the direction we need to go to is here. Careful, we'll crash. Please proceed to sign back. Gotta be gentle. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. All right, so let's quickly head over to the refinery deck. Bobby. 
yeah so far I find the refining mechanic is a lot better um, it's they've, they've definitely done a lot of uh, quality a lot quality of life uh, updates to it and, and it feels a lot more um, I think I'll do a video on that there's a lot of things that I kind of want to discuss in regards to that but it's it just feels a lot better just to say the least it feels a lot better to to do and the fact that they added the refining uh, the refining piece to it just adds uh, gives you so much more to do now right so you're mining you're you're refining and then you're trading so it's nice and I like the fact that you can you can be refining while you're picking up and tr and, and trading while other jobs are running simultaneously and, and stuff like that it's uh it's really nice so i think the next thing that i like them to add is uh the ability to give us um the option to transfer our goods our refined ore or raw material to other players right i think um especially when it comes to cargo decks right you can transfer to a cargo deck and at the given cargo deck each player has their own let's say account there or um store area there where they can um store receive and send or between or materials or whatever commodity it is between players and um if they add that piece just that piece alone will be um will be so much better because now you can work with other players right you can work with people who would um pick up the cargo and ship it out pick up the ore ship it out to go sell it and you guys are all one team right and by the end of the night you guys can share the profits from it while the other person is just going out to mine and finding more ore and bringing it out and then and then maybe there'll be one guy inside the station here like processing everything for everybody you know what i mean there's a like groups of players doing this and there'll be one guy in here just processing everything for everybody you know what i mean whoa you what are you doing the heck she's like no refining for nobody i'm glad they gave us a second option here or else that would have been that would have sucked what the heck is wrong with her all right so i just want to quickly check how much it's worth right now without refining Twenty-seven thousand. so you guys keep that in mind Twenty-seven thousand. all right so i have two completed jobs so those are the jobs i was mentioning to you guys earlier i am not going to pick them up now but i'm going to process this just going to process this and this one i just i think i'm just gonna go with the default uh setup here which is 30 minutes is there one for an hour i think there's one that it's one hour i think ten thousand let me run this ten thousand is it worth it all right yeah let me try let me let me try this out i don't mind i don't mind the money all right so now we have two completed and i think for this episode i'm just gonna wait until this one completes and then once every this one completes we'll pick up everything we'll head over to lorville to sell it all right so if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and if there's anything in this video that you'd like make sure to leave a like as well any comments just let me know let me know what you think let me know what you think about this whole uh, anything that we discussed today all right i will see you on the next one